In this video, we're going to show how the Matrix SL9 can be connected to the Matrix uh, um, EVB and through the computer to the graphical user interface. For the rest of the video, we're going to call the Matrix SL9. Um, this is going to be called the readout module, and the Matrix EVB is going to be called the coincidence, coincidence board. To start off the measurement, first off, we're going to turn on the 5 volts and we're going to turn on our 35 volts to the module. You can see that they're both connected up. When the unit, when the coincidence board is first powered up, you'll see the red LED indicator um, is on. And once we show you how the software works, we're going to show you how we can turn that LED on and off to demonstrate communication. Um, the first thing you'll notice is that the USB and the matrix indicator lights are both yellow. That indicates that we do not have connection to the to the units yet. I will we'll click on the connect button and if everything is set up properly the USB and the matrix uh, indicator lights should go green and you should be able to see the coincidence board revision number on your screen and you should also be able to see the, the FPGA firmware revision number which is currently listed in this video as 01.02. Now, to show how the, the communication can be demonstrated between the graphical user interface and the coincidence board, uh, we're going to turn the coincidence LED on and off. And down on the bottom of your screen, we have the coincidence readout control section. And there is a tick box uh, which has coincidence LED written beside it. And what we can do with that very simply is by clicking uh, and unticking the coincidence LED and ticking it again we can make the coincidence LED light um, go on and off and I'll demonstrate this now on the hardware by turning on the LED and turning off the LED and I'll do this a few more times just so it's very clear that, that we, we have definite communication there. Uh, that allows you to make sure that you have communication between the software and the hardware and this also in an in a actual system setup uh, allows you to turn that LED off if the, the light, the stray light from that is causing problems uh, in, your, in your system setup. Now that we've, we've been able to show uh, communication to the coincidence board, I want to show you how we can talk to the individual Matrix SL9 um, readout modules. Uh, when the unit first uh, ships, um, it will, when, it first, when the software first starts up, you'll notice that uh, channel 0 is typically the, uh, the channel number on the screen. Um, in this case, I've, I've intentionally put our matrix, um, our readout module, I've actually put it on channel 1 so that we would be able to show you that at channel 0 there's, there's actually no channel here um, in the ID and FPGA revision um, setting. By incrementing the channel number to 1, I can now show that we have a live module there. You can see its ID number and you can see the FPGA revision number of the firmware that's used inside the, um, the actual readout module. I'll go and increment the channel number one more time to go to channel two and since I don't have any, any um, readout modules connected there um, the no channel um, comes on the screen and the FPGA revision number uh, goes to question mark status. So I will go back down to channel one now and show you how we have the ID number and the revision for that module is shown. Um, we're clearly talking to the module, otherwise we wouldn't be able to get this information. Um, but just to demonstrate um, that we can communicate with the readout module, what I'm going to do now is show you how we can turn the readout, the, the LED indicator on and off on our readout module. Um, that's done very simply by um, ticking or unticking the readout LED box shown here. And every time we issue a command to our readout module, uh, it's very important that we, we save the setting uh, and we configure the setting. And this is done for a reason, because the communication from the PC to, to get to the readout module has to transfer through the coincidence control module. So in that case, we save the setting and then we configure the setting to actually send it uh, from PC to the coincidence control unit and out to the readout module. So now I'm going to demonstrate how the readout LED can be changed. I'm going to save the off state and I'm going to configure it 
and now you'll see in the module you'll see the LED is turned off and what I can do now is by um, selecting the readout LED box saving the configuration and configuring the module I can now turn that on and off uh, multiple times just to demonstrate once again that that is that it's functional we would typically leave the readout LED light um, box ticked just so that we know that the module is working properly we can we can see that visibly but if you are actually doing a, a system setup um, and everything is is configured properly uh, you might want to turn off the readout LED so that you don't have any additional light in your in the system uh, in our next video we'll show you how the different settings can be adjusted to do energy resolution and uh, timing, coincidence timing, uh, but for now um, we're going to stop the, the video uh, knowing that we have communication from our PC to the coincidence board and down to the um, matrix SL9 readout module.